بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم کریم بخش عباسی اسپیکنگ فار دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف بی اے ڈانرس ففتھ سیمسٹر مائی ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ہاؤ ٹو رائٹ کرٹیکل انالیسس دا ٹائٹل آف دا کورس از فاؤنڈیشن آف ریڈنگ اٹس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک ٹو ڈسکس ایز اٹ وی ہیو اے لاٹ آف نیڈ وین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو رائٹ کرٹیکل انالیسس آف اینی بک اور اینی کریٹو ورک اینڈ کرٹیکل انالیسس Uh, it determines how effectively the piece of writing makes an argument or a point. Uh, uh, there are very important points uh, which uh, we must understand when anybody is going to write critical analysis. Uh, the first point is identify the author's thesis. Uh, it determines uh, why, uh, what the author is going to uh, argue for and uh, what is he going to go against why the author is going to defend any point and why is he going to go against it and what is the need to to bring arguments for uh, this issue uh, that might be the important issue which he is going to mention in his piece of writing uh, okay and we will also see uh, our any uh, uh, critical analysis when we are going to have a critical analysis of any piece of writing uh, uh, it uh, tells us that uh, why what kind what aspect is he, he is going to uh, argue uh, uh, for um, and what is the need uh, to argue it what kind of need to argue it and what kind of points he is going to give evidence about okay so uh, identify in identifying the author's thesis we uh, uh, it determines why the author is going uh, to defend any point and why he is going to go against it second point is noting all the main ideas and all the main ideas can be found uh, in the topic sentences of each paragraph uh, and they are very much necessary to uh, uh, to note down the main ideas of a piece of writing okay and the third point is uh, researching unfamiliar material uh, in which uh, it is uh, it, it it must be seen uh, that what kind of the words are uh, unfamiliar uh, and uh, what new words have been mentioned and for this regard we have to find out uh, go through the dictionary or encyclopedia which will help us about detecting the unfamiliar words and the words which uh, we are uh, we little know about okay and the third point is uh, describe the work in your own words um, it, the, uh, it must not be copied or uh, borrowed from any other sources when you are going to, to write it uh, in the some form of a summary critical analysis must be written in the form of a summary and uh, the summary must depend up upon any one or two paragraph but it must be uh, we must be careful to write it in paragraph one paragraph or two paragraph in the form of summary and uh, identifying the uh, appeals which have been used in the piece of writing uh, in critical analysis we are going to uh, find out those appeals normally uh, or typically three appeals are usually used by any writer uh, uh, logos and ethos and pathos um, definitely whenever any writer writes about any uh, writes any book he is going to uh, appeal uh, the readers emotions uh, and and re when he is going to appeal readers emotions for this we have to find out pathos because pathos uh, 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 are attracting pathos means uh, 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 appealing the readers emotions um, and the second point is logos and lo logos is we have to find out uh, whether the writer has used any logic uh, logical ideas uh, to uh, to change the perspective of the readers uh, and uh, third point is uh, ethos and ethos means why we are going to believe the credibility of a writer 
uh, when we are going to believe the credibility of a writer, writer is going to use ethos and uh, uh, it helps us to understand the writer's personal, uh, uh, personality uh, and his academic uh, level and his professional level. For uh, this he uses ethos that he must be believed. Uh, when I am going to read any book, why should I believe it? So it is ethos which helps us to, uh, to believe the writer's credibility and these three appeals are necessary to be determined when we are going to write critical analysis, analysis of any book. So uh, and uh, the last point is uh, evaluate uh, uh, how well the author is going to use these uh, emotions. When I am going to write the critical analysis, I will ask myself that whether my emotions have been appealed or not, whether I was uh, happy when I was reading the book, or sad, or angry, or annoyed. Uh, when I feel this uh, inner condition of mine, uh, I, I will come to know that uh, author has used uh, pathos uh, in a well um, manner. Uh, and uh, he has changed my perspective and my point of view. It means he has the author has used logos, uh, and uh, I am going to believe his credibility. It means he has used ethos. So this this is going to evaluate the whole work. So all these points are very much necessary when anybody is going to write a critical analysis uh, and uh, our students must know how to write critical analysis when uh, uh, because uh, and uh, uh, when uh, we are going to read any book we must uh, notice these points that how to write critical analysis and we are briefly going to tell the summary of the book in a critical analysis and uh, in critical analysis the author's whole uh, personality is uh, depicted and picturized and uh, it helps us to understand the logic and pathos and uh, ethos in the work uh, which have been written by the writer. So, hope you understand that how to write a critical analysis and what are the necessary ingredients and points uh, in writing the critical analysis. If anybody uh, uh, understands these points, he can easily write critical analysis of any piece of writing. So, hope you understand uh, the topic. If you have any questions, any written, and written, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I will upload more videos on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.